Assalamu alaikum and greetings. This is Ali Sharma and here we have the new Ishin 5.8 GHZ FPV virtual reality goggles EV800 available at banggood.com. Uh, Ishin EV800 arrived pretty fast right after I ordered them. I wanted to see how good they are. I have used EV700 uh, goggles from Ishin. And honestly speaking it disappointed me uh, it gave me headaches my eyes were turning something like that after I used the goggles I used these goggles yesterday and I felt very nice using EV 800 Ishin video goggles but honestly speaking still it did not beat the uh, sky zone or fat shark video goggles uh, for those who are looking for cheaper uh, alternative to goggles and flying and getting into the world of FPV racing. Ishin EV800 5.8 GSC FPV goggles. They come equipped or with a built-in race band video receiver 5.8 GSC offering 40 channel switchable frequencies. All right, enough said, enough look at the box all the time. Let me take the goggles out and give you a looky looky at the goggles <laughs> right away inside the box of course i have opened the box before so um, stay with me we have a uh, antenna cleaning clothes adapter usb adapter a wall outlet a power cable should you want to power your goggles separately using a lipo battery not the built-in battery and a charging cable for usb outlet right here a video goggles Ishin EV800 a converter pin from a small pin to bigger pin and a quick looky looky user manual this is a small pin converter from a small to bigger pin converter this is for your um, let me just show it to you at the right side of the goggles you see headphone jack and it is a very small one so if you want to use headphones to hear the dreaded sound of your propellers and win all the time from your quadcopter you can put this in and then put your headphones on it and start listening to the dreaded sound of propellers and winds and crashing of your quadcopter only all right now that i'm holding the ishin ev800 in my hands you can see it clearly from this view and the side view i like the design on this one at this side they have shrank it down to fit your eyes uh, okay and sit it uh, comfortably and seat it comfortably on your nose okay Be before the other goggles i saw this area was big and as big as the front and i did not like it but this time they have shrank it down just like an ordinary goggle and this makes it a very comfortable to wear goggles honestly when i wore it i felt very very comfortable like wearing an ordinary small goggles the headband actually is uh, adjustable and you can adjust it to fit your head properly if you have a big head or a small head and this will make the goggles sit on your head really comfortably coming to the top of the goggles you see a certain controls we have search button so you don't have to press channel channel band band channel you just keep pressing the search button and goggle will already automatically and the video goggles will automatically search and lock onto the video signals proper video signals that you want to watch so it could be your drone or somebody else's drone then you have an antenna antenna jet then you have an antenna port you're gonna install your antenna here uh, stock antenna works properly and pretty good but you still might want to get a clue relief or a mushroom or other powerful antennas 
then you have an on off button and you have battery uh, indicator light and then you have a channel plus band plus and menu on your goggle you have band plus and ch channel plus another buttons right here why have the repeated channel and band buttons well it's because when you are wearing the video goggles it is very easy for you to reach at this side on those bigger buttons to set the channels while wearing the goggles and of course very easy to reach at the left side this big button while you're wearing the goggles to search for the video signals okay so that was it for the closer look at the goggles well um, these buttons we were talking about they are very easy to reach while you're wearing goggles and should you want to tweak the channels of bands while flying well if your quadcopter is on the ground and you're having interference you can quickly select the bands and channels or auto search to lock onto the video coming from your drone but if your quadcopter I am calling drones if this is a quadcopter while it's flying and in the air and if this is an FPV racing quadcopter you're not gonna have much time to press and lock onto the uh, right frequency because one second your video goes and your quadcopter crashes talking about the FPV racing quadcopter but if you're flying um, GPS based quadcopter which has a GPS hold and altitude hold feature well you have plenty of time to experiment with these buttons and get a lock onto your video from your quadcopter again okay so when you are wearing it on head and you are looking through your eyes it's a little painful very very painful here when goggle is pressing down okay so this is how I'm looking around with my eyes but when I put it on my eyes hmm so you can see this is how a person looks like wearing the goggles this is my side view this is my front view and this is my view when I'm flying <laughs> yes yes <laughs> most of the RC pilots that I have seen flying with the video goggles are like this his head is hanging down <laughs> just like all the pilots do <laughs> <laughs> looks like he's trying to look into the la <laughs> the uh, earth itself they are <laughs> holding the radio and their head is just now in their neck is twisting almost going to break well i don't know why <laughs> but this is how the goggles make you look like i do my best to wear the goggles and that's what you should do not to hang your head down when you put on the goggles try to keep your head straight you might want to hold the radio high if you want better signals control signals but keep the head straight because you need antenna sides to get better reception if you hang your head down and flying it trying to look into the video your antenna is not getting a good reception or good sight so if you are the person who hangs the head down i will suggest move the antenna this way and you will have better reception all right so it sits very well it works very well now let me see if i can see inside through that camera uh, let me turn on one of the fpv systems okay i pick up my ishin blade 180 small quadcopter okay it has an osd and everything so i'm gonna just uh, power it up so basically inside is a very clear picture this camera is not doing uh, good justice at the moment yay what's up man so yes this is how uh, things look inside the goggle in real when you put the goggles on things look much more better comparatively what you're looking through the camera but anyway i just wanted to give you an idea how the goggles show everything clearly inside so you will have quad in the view as well the view with the goggles is so nice mommy is circling around me and flying this Ishin blade is 
really nice feeling with these goggles. The image is nice and clear. I'm having fun. And OSD is a blessing here. Okay, Arish, ready? Ready. Arish is getting the FPV training. I love with this. Okay, wait. Okay, Arish, flying. How do you feel? Very nice. Very nice? Yes. Okay, let me flip. Let's see what, what is your effect. Nice? Did I have to try? How do you wait, okay? okay. Oh, oh, okay. Irish turn finished now. How do you turn? Okay, I don't Who is fighting the motorbike fault? <laughs> He's going back. <laughs> Now can see Adi? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, enjoy. Ready? Here we go. Adi, let's see if Adi will fall yeah. down or not. Yeah. Look at Adi's gestures. He's looking up. <laughs> when I turn the corner, his head turns. <laughs> right turn? Wait, where is it? Right turn, left turn. Right, okay, now his head is not turning. Ready? Here comes the flip. What happened to Adi? Adi? His head is falling down. Yes. <laughs> His head was turning with the quad in the beginning. <laughs> okay, good. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, Irish, put on. Wait, ready? Turn left. Turn right. Turn left. <laughs> Now Irish will get dizzy, I'm circle. So if you're looking for an affordable goggles, video goggles for FPV racing or FPV quadcopters or any kind of uh, first person view flying, Ishin EV800 is probably a better choice for you to go for. EV700, I wouldn't actually go for that. That's a basic, that's a very first try from Ishin, I believe. This is the second version and it's much more improved and much more better in quality, in terms of performance, in terms of video signals, in terms of uh, the image inside. Now regarding the video signals, it still it's not very impressive. I have been able to fly around me using this stock antenna and I went up to 100 meters and there was a little bit of distortion. Video was distorting and signals were breaking. So basically I'm gonna try a patch antenna or a clover leaf antenna and see how good the video signal uh, works and how good the strength or the image quality stays inside there. So thank you very much for watching this a quick, well it's not a quick review, a detailed review of Ishin EV800 video goggles with the Raceband 40 channel video receiver built in. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. A whole lot of awesome RC videos are coming your way. Hey, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and stay updated for all the new uploads. If you like the video, hit the like button and share it with friends.